Juniper today at Carla's house. Thank you for having us to your house today. My pleasure. Yes, and the beautiful garden that is behind us and the pond is gorgeous. So it's a beautiful day to be outside, of course. It is, and I love gardening. I'm just farting around here all the time. This is like yeah. my little happy place. And this is where I do these fun little sand casting sculptures mm -hmm. that we're going to do today. So we're gonna make butterflies. Nice, so this is called sand casting sculpture. Yes. And it looks hard, but I bet it's not it, because Carla always makes it easy for us. It, so. it isn't hard. People have been doing this again for, I don't know, 20, 30, thousand years okay. it's, it's been going on for a it's while been going on. as a kid some kids like to put in um, in their sandbox box a little bit of uh, wax from candles and you can make it this way we're, we're, we're doing it with concrete but of course you know higher forms you can get beautiful bronzes and things like that with sand casting but this is like simple backyard get to play in the sand looks like something <laughs> kids would love to do yes, yeah absolutely. good yeah. really really easy stuff so we're going to use some decoration here. So the first step, and you don't actually need gloves for this part, we get to play in the sand. Okay. And we're going to, what I like to do with these is draw two C's, so back to back, and that's basically, I find with these, the simpler the shape, the better. And you can just dig your finger right oh, into not touching, it. Though. Let me do that again, shall Yeah, we? it's just like drawing, drawing a little butterfly on the beach, Kind of like that with with the sand and you can make indentations and where the um, uh, concrete is going to go is right where we've made the indentation but before we do that let's put some bling in it let's bling it up okay so i'm going to use one of these big marbles for the head oh i'm, I'm you're you're into your that one okay i'm going to go for that one would this and be the, the head up here yeah that's that's the head so we've just popped in the head of this guy here mm -hmm. and then uh, I like to do three marbles any marbles for the body and uh, three seems to be a good number and then we can play around with inside the butterfly wings okay so mm, anything goes marbles flat stones I like these flat stones. I like them too I they, they sit in nice and flat mm. and uh, I, I they seem to go really well with um, natural stones as well and you just lay them down oh uh, upside down actually is the best way to put mm -hmm, them in mm -hmm. and i don't worry too much about getting it perfect what i've discovered is that if you spend all this time and get everything all perfect the way that you think it's gonna be like maybe a painting when i'm painting you know i i can control the entire mm -hmm. painting these aren't like that there, you can you can really play around, be loose with them, and you hmm. get you get a nice feel for everything. The sun came out. Yay! Isn't that nice? <laughs> it is awesome. Okay, nice. yeah. so that looks perfect. Then then this is this is some glass that I picked up, mm -hmm. and uh, it seems to work like sprinkles, and I just literally sprinkling the glass right on top of these beads, mm. and you get a really nice color. That I've is pretty. I've done a few colors. So um, I'm going to throw in a little bit of brown here. And this part I quite like because it's, it's almost like painting again. Mm -hmm. And you get to throw in the color. Now we get to do the actual concrete. Now I'm going to reach over here mm -hmm. and grab this lovely mess of concrete. I thought we could just do one uh, little uh, pail of it. Sure. And then we just put in water. And it's amazing how um, little water you actually need to use with the concrete. I use a little bit at a time. This is just regular concrete mixed in with a little bit of topping mix. Where do you go to buy it? I bought it at uh, Home Depot. I love Home Depot, but you can buy it anywhere. So I haven't got it all the way to the bottom, but this will probably get us going. Okay. So this is really, I'm just gonna show you here. This is really, it like it's it's like you're you're making cupcakes you just fill up the the, the area yeah that's that's basically and you want to make sure that all of the things that you put in there stick to the concrete I suppose you will tap it at uh, at the end but it's see it's not really uh, it's it's not super delicate you just kind of blob it in there which is fun right it I find is, that all of the yeah. things that we do there's lots of room for error a little bit of room for you know you don't have to be so precise that kids can't no. get involved this is a, a really nice one to do with kids mm -hmm. I, I think okay I'm gonna leave a little bit of my my ball 
for the head right, shining sticking proof. out. Okay. All right. There you go. Susan. Let's a good time. Go <laughs> watch this happen. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be magical. That looks good. That's amazing. That is a beautiful concrete pancake <laughs> in the shape of a butterfly. Yay! Love it. Okay, let's give him some. I've got these guys way over here. And we're going to give him. These are antennae. Fun. Yes. And uh, I'm just, I just kind of like to squish them in right at the back there so mm -hmm. they're sticking out a little bit. Mine Beautiful. That's okay. okay. That's cool. Okay, and then this is a hook in the back that I like to just squish in there. Right. And uh, might have to alter it slightly so that it's going to go in. And that is so that you can we can hang this puppy on the wall later. It's going to dry up pretty fast yeah. in the in the sand. And that's it. We're done. So because we can't watch these dry instantly, you have some. I do. Okay. Sitting around. Yes. Okay. So I'll uh, I'll grab them. Here we go. Okay. Two days. Two days. So two, two days. days later. These have been sitting in here, and uh, you can just dig around, and you can start to kind of feel the forms. Look at these beauties. And then you can They're just pull gorgeous. Them out. Yeah, pretty funny. And you just take off all the sand. You yeah. almost water them down after yeah. to get that sand out. Yeah. I take a hose to them. I'm just gonna let's uh, let's take yours and give it a little drink. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll have it. Look at how pretty that Isn't is. Isn't that pretty? It We're really done. is. That is a fun thing to do. And I'm just going to... I gave him a bath. Look at how beautiful this <laughs> is. It's gorgeous. <laughs> and you know what? It obviously... Oh, yeah. Somebody put a lot of care into this one because there's very specific stones everywhere. But boy, does that look beautiful. We did the same thing, though. It was those little stones up the side. Yeah, I see that. There we go. There's another and one. And there's another one. Do, who did these? I did these. You did. And where are they going to hang? I don't know yet. Wow. You know what? I think this is the most funnest ones we've done. And I know that's not a real word, but I like using it. So we're just going to use it. They're pretty fun. Nice. All you need is a bag of concrete, a little sandbox, and uh, some decorative items. They can be anything from around the house, or you can pick some things up at the dollar store, yeah. wherever, beads, anything. Yeah. Great project for the kids, Carla. Absolutely. Another winner. Yay. Thank you. And you can do it in your backyard. Nice. <laughs> Hence the reason we're here. Thank you for having us to your house My today. pleasure. Beautiful garden, beautiful home, and uh, thank you again for doing this. Great, thank you. Yes, we have all the information right now on the screen. If you would like to sign up for some lessons in artistry, I just lost a stone. It's all but good. But if you would like to learn how to paint, or if you would like to learn more information about these, you can certainly give the Carla Pierce Art Gallery a call, and Carla would be happy to help you. We are back in two minutes. Stay with us. Ain't it fun?